What is up to my brilliant squad? It is your girl Brilliant Bree here, and I'm back with another freaking video. If you're new to my channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are an oldie but a goodie, thank you so much for tuning in for another video. Make sure you like and make sure you go ahead and comment down below and let me know how your day, your week, your weekend has been, your month has been because I have been MIA, y'all. I'm sorry if y'all hear this rain, this thunder. It is going crazy in Dallas right now with the weather. It's like about to have a tornado or hurricane or something i don't know but i'm sorry if y'all have to hear that but i'm trying to go ahead and spit some videos out for y'all today so i am recording right now okay so i know you can see from that title i am doing a rant today about this prom i'm so happy that prom is over now look i don't want nobody to take offense these are just my opinions this is just how i feel i actually want to get interactive with y'all down in the comments okay because I just got a lot of stuff that's been bothering me that's been on my chest about this prom. I think this weekend is like the last weekend that people in my area are having prom. And I am just so, so glad that prom is going to be over. Like, oh, y'all. Like, let me tell y'all something. First of all, these girls, they be cute, honey. Like, I ain't going to take that away from them. You know, cute. Okay? It's just certain little things that I ain't really rocking with when it comes to prom. Okay? The amount of money y'all spend is ridiculous. Okay, I understand. Now look, when I have kids, this is why right now I say I'm on my grind to make sure I got that guap, okay? That guap, okay? Because when I have children, I want to be able to do stuff with ease and stuff. I don't believe in living beyond my means. Like, I have did it at times, and it's just not a comfortable place to be. Like, it's not, it's not a good thing to do. Like, put yourself in the hole because you want things and objects. Like, now I'm finally at the point where I'm like, as long as my bills are paid, like, honey, I, I don't care. Like, baby, I'll eat some noodles, okay? You feel me? But, like, living beyond your means, spending all this crazy money, like, on a child's prom, and then you're struggling, then you're stressed out. Like, if you have it, okay. That's fine. This ain't for you. That ain't, this comment ain't for you. But for those people who barely making it, and you got about, and you have other children that are being neglected while you're spending money on a prom like I just really think that that's not called for like getting these luxury gowns and stuff like that like you can go and find nice gowns and stuff for a reasonable price like getting them hand stitched handmade going and buying the fabric and then getting it built from scratch like they're a celebrity and like paying just all this crazy money like thousands and thousands of dollars for this dress renting out these Lamborghinis having like a fairy tale theme like where they pulling up in what's it called um what cinderella was in the thing that turned into a pumpkin you know what i'm talking about pulling up oh a carriage pulling up in a carriage y'all come on now how much that costs like how much that costs like a lot of these people be having problems like at hotels like where it's like on the top floor so who's seeing you pull up who's seeing you pull up nobody like it's just irking me like i'm so just so glad that prom is about to be over okay and then another thing so like what's up we're getting our kids rooms for prom what they need an airbnb or a hotel or something for after prom i'm not trying to help you get your freak on what you need to do is bring your butt back home now if they're 18 if they finna go off and be on their own and they that grown okay Go get your own room and stuff. I'm not going to contribute. So if I have a daughter, I'm not contributing to her. Then it won't bust a wide open for a dude. I'm not going to condone like my son going out here trying to bang up these girls. Probably possibly get somebody pregnant. Like, I'm not going to be like, okay, so what? Well, how did they even get in this situation? Because like, recently someone rented out a room for their children. And they ended up, all the parents got tickets because these kids were underage, drinking, smoking. And so, you know, the parents get in trouble. So it's like, why put yourself in that if you are already... It's just irking me, y'all. It's irking me. I'm not about to help you get your freak on. I'm just, I'm not going to do it. Like, you mess up these people's stuff, I got to pay for it. Like, these people, these people, these kids, they're 18. They're not grown. 18 ain't grown. They don't know how to tell people, oh, well, don't do that because this isn't my home. They not worried about that. They just know my mama rented this out. I can do what I want to do up in here. Like, they not worried about it. And they're smoking and they're drinking. They're underage, like, to be drinking. Like, I know. I drunk back then. That's why when I turned 21, it didn't mean nothing to me because I had been drinking. So it's like, I wouldn't dare get my child like no Airbnb or a hotel to get they freak on for prom. Like, and say what you want. I ain't got no kids, but I can have a comment and I can voice my opinion. 
I hate when people say because you don't have children, like you can't have an opinion. Yes, I got an opinion and I'm going to let you know what it is. Okay, I went to get my child a Lambo for their prom, especially if they're going to be drinking like... Now, if your child is a responsible child and you want to get something for them like that and you have it to get that, by all means, do that. But I've heard certain parents be like, oh, I'm just so worried. Like, I'm going to get this car and... Oh Lord, this child gonna be high. This child gonna be drunk. Are you are you really sitting there saying this, but you're putting the car in your name to get it, and you know that your child may wreck it or something? Like, get him a driver then. There's no way that I would think in my head and know my child and say, "Oh, my child drives drunk," and still go get them a Lambo or a luxury car to rent in my name. There's no way that I would do that. There's no way I'm neglecting my other children. To buy for this child for prom, okay? There's no way that my lights are gonna get turned off, or my water is gonna be turned off to pay for some freaking prom. Like we're not gonna do that. Like we're gonna get you right, and you're gonna be looking good for prom. But our bills not gonna be off because once this prom is over, like we all still gotta live here. We gotta live here. We have to live here, okay? Now look, I just had to go on a real rant real quick because that's like some BS, y'all. And I'm just really not understanding. I want somebody to help me comprehend. Like, let me know what's going on with the prom. Like, why is prom becoming so... Like, I can only imagine, like, when my goddaughter... Like, I think about it. Like, when my goddaughter finally gets to, think, like, to prom, like, I'm thinking, like, geez, like, we're going to have to come with it because they going to have flying Lambos by the time she um gets to go on the prom. And I'm going to be like, look, girl... Hopefully I got it then so I can just get it, y'all, because I don't know, y'all. It's just been really pissing me off. I'm glad it's almost over. Kudos to you if you got it to get it for your kids. But for the ones that are living beyond your means and neglecting your household and your other children and yourself to send a child to prom flawless in a Lambo with a handmade stitch dress that they will never wear again or that they might pop out of at prom, I can't get with you and, and I, I can't understand you boo and like y'all let me know if I'm wrong get down get down in the comments like you know I'm up for debate I'm ready to argue you know what I'm saying like I feel like everybody freedom of speech like I want to hear what you got to say like I might hear something that I may be like oh okay yeah you right like yeah I'm wrong okay so y'all get down in the comments and y'all let me know okay so make sure you like comment and subscribe this video and I'm gonna see y'all in my next one bye <laughs>